because I've actually never made bread before.
the next day and um, today is baking the bread day. So I'm quite excited about that because I've actually never made bread before. So um, I've made the dough and kneaded the bread and I actually didn't need it for as long as it should have because I ran out of time and I needed to leave for work. So it should have been kneaded a few more times, like folded, not really kneaded, it's more like folded on itself a few more times, but I didn't have time and so I had to just do it as long as I could. But today, so I need to then put it in a cast iron pot and put it in the oven. I don't have a cast iron pot, so I made my way down to TK Maxx today and oh... Thank goodness I didn't have a tr like a trolley because I really had fun. So I got a few boring things. Actually, I got one boring thing. The rest is so sweet. I got a Pyrex glass cup, measuring cup because I don't have one. And every time I've baked, I'm like, I don't have one. I love TK Maxx. Their candles were so nice, but it got overwhelming for my nose and they just all started to smell a bit strange. So I'm going to go back and try again. I got, I need um, new, I need new um, dishcloths because ours are in the, such shit condition. Like, look at this. Why is there a massive hole there? So I needed to get new ones and they have really nice ones there. I wish I could have bought more, but I had no more hands. Like how pretty is that print? It comes with a pack of two. So it's got single white and then a print. And then I got another one. It's just so pretty. And it's got a little kitty. Oh, that's not a cat at all. I thought that was a cat. And then also white at the back, but I have to, ban my fiance from using the white one because he just uses it on like red curry i bought these cute little just tiny little flexible cutting boards just to like cut a tomato so i don't have to like yeah you know the main reason why i went was to get my cast iron pot for my bread so i hope it fits and it doesn't like it's not actually too small and i was like that's fantastic i need one and it's great so let's get going with the uh, bread making. So I need to preset the oven and take all the labels off these things. I need to take the label off this and give it a bit of a wipe. I had to carry this home and my arms are literally like shaking. It's so heavy. Um, that's also one of the reasons why I couldn't shop too much because I have to carry it home. I suppose I could have taken the bus, but ugh, nah. Okay, I've made a mistake. You have to put the pot in the oven first so that it heats up with the stove. Then 
you put the dough into a packet while everything heats up together. I'm going to put it on the windowsill so that it can just rise in the heat. Hello there. Okay, so while my bread is busy baking in the oven for 15 more minutes with the top off, I thought I went to TK Maxx and I thought maybe I'm going to buy a few things. And I did. I bought a few things. But, okay, some of them are a fail. Like I bought some kitchen items and the quality is not good. I'm pretty sure it's going to like electrocute me if I just hold it in the wrong place and if I let it zhuzh for too long did I say what it was? I can't remember. I bought like a zhuzh thing for the soup and if I let it zhuzh for too long I'm pretty sure I could smell like machinery burning so that's not always a good sign um so yeah some of the stuff is not amazing okay so this I haven't tried yet. I bought this because I hate cutting garlic and my eyes water if I cut, cut onions. So I thought, let me try this. But it's not dishwasher friendly. And I'm like, how am I going to... These blades are so fine. Like, how do people... So I can tell that I'm not going to enjoy this guy. The washing up of this guy. But I haven't used it yet. But I think the idea is nice. I bought the soup zhuzh thing which is in the kitchen cupboard it's not amazing it was like nine pounds and yeah no it's like cheap rubbish also you can't twist off to separate the blade from the like cord part the electric part you can't twist it so we're like washing it with the, the cord hanging over our shoulders or the cord hanging over the sink it's it's really weird it's not something you want an aromatherapy diffuser, um, essential oils diffuser, literally doesn't work. I plugged it in, put the water into the correct place, essential oils in. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have the most incredible smelling house in the world. It, I press on, it goes like blue, purple, green, I can hear the machine going and then it just turns off. But like proper turn off. It's not. I thought it, it was like maybe there's just the lights were done and it was like. But it proper turns off and yeah. So that doesn't work. So that's not good. So I don't know if I must take it back, or is it like a lost cause? Like is that what happens when you go there? Which is really frustrating because I really wanted one. I literally 
think it's so pretty. They had a few designs. They had a black and white one, which I kind of really wanted as well. Um, to be honest, we don't really have space for this here. So I just have to put it underneath our, um, like, single chair, our single couch, which looks fabulous like that anyway. It's, it's just so pretty. Very autumnal. And then I bought a candle, of course. It's a really nice smelling one. It doesn't smell too spiced. Like, it's really soft. It's nice. White sage pumpkin. 43 hours. It's really nice and you can really smell it when it does. Um. And then I have been buying some... So I bought makeup. I bought some on a gift card that I had. And I bought some like every other month. Um, for the wedding. My friend is doing my makeup. She's a makeup artist and she has been telling me things that I Need to tick off my list if I do have them then that's perfect And if they are some things that I don't have then that's fantastic and I was like, oh, they're stunning So I could do with some small makeup um, Things on my face right now, and I just thought let me show you while I'm here Okay, so I got a new moisturizer from the inky list so vitamin B C and E and I really like it. It's really, really nice. Not expensive, same prices as the ordinary. And I was like, it's really nice. So this one is recommended to say, so at the back there, it suggests like the schedule that you do. Clean, hydrate, treat, moisturize, and then sunscreen. So it tells you what to, this is the moisturizer. And you put it on the morning and the evening on cleansed skin. Apply a pea-sized amount to the face and the neck and after preferred serums, which I was like, oh, that's quite cool. I got my, and I, I have serums, but I just needed to update this one. I got 100% squalane from The Ordinary and I love it. It's so moisturizing and like I say, the winter, my skin just around here just gets like really, 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 really dry. And it's not great for all the makeup that I wear for the show. So I put this, I put hyaluronic acid on serum this on and then I put this on and it's very moisturizing okay I'm all about the moisture at the moment it's all about the dewy look great I need to get a new sun cream the next thing I'm really excited about I needed to get a good primer I already have a primer which is very nice it is a Hydra Primer Illuminating, Dewy Illuminating Primer, which I got in Korea, so I'm not too familiar with this brand. My bread alarm is going off, bye. Actually, I'm gonna just sit on this so that I'm a bit closer. So yeah, so I do have a primer. I use it often. I don't use primer often, and I think I should, but I don't. I see it as like a commitment, like you're committed to that day's makeup. And sometimes I'm like, I just want to do quick makeup. I wanted to just find another primer because I don't have, I'm not like set on that primer. And if I run out, I don't know where else to get it. Fluid primer from The Ordinary and I am obsessed with it. But it kind of mattes straight away. It's really good. So a little bit on. It's very smooth. Doesn't smell like anything. Okay, I put a little bit too much on, so I ended up putting all over my face. I usually just put primer around my eyes, around this area, nose, and there. I don't really make a big deal out of the primer. It's really silky, and I can feel that it's like in my pores in a good way. It's ready for my makeup to be on top of it. It's a yes for me. Uh, a classic that I never had before until now, NARS Concealer. And so I had to go get this tested because I've never had this before. Um, because I would just like put tons of foundation under my eyes. And then that would just be the end of my story. You cannot do that for a wedding. Oh my gosh, I'm so glowy. Okay, this is so exciting. It's Charlotte Tilbury Foundation. I got the Beautiful Skin. I got four neutral, which is almost impossible to buy, to buy. Like, I tried to go into the store to buy it. They didn't have. Well, okay, I went into one John Lewis. So the, there are hundreds of other stores. I didn't go into Charlotte Tilbury. But I tried to buy it online, and there were so many. I eventually got this off. What did I get this off? Oh, Cult Beauty. But it's beautiful. It's expensive. So it's like a treat. You don't need much. 
um, I really like it. It's really moisturizing as well. I'm having a bit of a an obsession with moisturizing my skin because it's really dry. Like I, I'm starting to suffer quite badly from eczema um, all over my legs and on my feet. And I've started to get some over here now. <sighs> Way to bring a girl down. So one of the things was what I, what I said to uh, my friend, I said, I don't want high coverage for the wedding. I still want it to be me and how I would do my makeup, but just like pretty. And so she said, she suggested, you know, don't, you know, go for this one. So I've got a prime finish powder from, what's this, Vanilla? It's a Korean brand. It's really nice. Vanilla is a really good company, actually. B-A-N-I-L-A. -A. There was a point where I got, when I was in Korea, I just got everything they had. Everything. Everything. Oh, I got this. I don't know if it's the right thing. Uh, Urban Decay eyeshadow, like, eye primer. It's, it's like, got a color to it. But I think that that's okay. Okay, I've actually never used eye primer in my life, so I have literally no idea. Like, did I just put too much on? Too little? I don't know. Like, it still seems very moisturizing to me, so how is this going to stop the crease? These are things that I don't know. Do I, oh, do I still need to put powder on top of this? That would make sense, I guess. Wow, that looks really prepped. My skin looks prepped now. So my skin is prepped. I've got a little MAC, what color is this? Pe peony, peony petal, peony petal. I think I'm saying that wrong. Classic. It's really, I love a pink cheek. There's nothing better than looking really sun-kissed. I think it's really cute, but in a very subtle way, like a healthy little like, ooh, I'm blushing. I just bought this. My friend has the Beauty Pie subscription. So I bought, she bought this highlighter and I was sold. It is quite cool. So I was like, get me one. It's illuminating one little thingy like this. Okay. If you have any tips, like, I don't I'm not like a, a makeup guru, so I'm not actually saying like, so this is how you should do it. Okay. Uh, what was the other thing that was thrilling to my soul? Charlotte Tilbury mascara. Legendary lashes. I put some on yesterday and I literally love it. I like to put like a layer on and then faff around with something else and then come back and properly do my makeup because it needs like... A base because I find especially now I put all my serums on there are a hundred things on my face my lashes are oily so it doesn't like hold so I, I do like a base like just one layer I carry on digging my makeup bag and then I come back and carry on and do it 140 times also look at my makeup bag eyeshadow I am not too familiar with eyeshadow I never use eyeshadow these are the only three options I have and I've only ever used this one uh, so there's that it's benefit brown eyeliner actually this oh there's no crease at all wow okay that's a life I don't understand that is really nice oh my gosh it feels like actual velvet okay okay I get it I get it now I totally get it Let's do a tiny. I'm not going to do a wing. I don't even know why I'm doing this makeup. Uh, very excited for my bread. Usually this runs out. This is actually, this primer is something that I needed a long time ago. Usually this kind of gets, it runs out as I'm doing it. And I have to like shake it and like draw with it so that it, the liquid comes to the top. But I think that's because I always had like an oily eyelid. And now that I've got a primer and it's like a good base. Wow. The amount of dust that this house picks up is honestly insane. I need to dust this area that the camera is on is. It's like a dune. I really like it. I really like the brush. Luxury lashes. I like chunky lashes and I guess it depends on like what kind of lash you want I think chunky lashes require a chunky brush 
if you want thin lashes then you need one of those brushes that are like plastic and like have small little spikes those like a little comb okay i'm overdoing it now and it's gonna get too chunky and then i'm gonna get sad okay if the sun could come back the reason why i'm in this room is because it's got better lighting it's literally like pitch black on this side hello come back well i mean i'm kind of done i'm just doing the same thing 106 times that was really fun i needed to do my makeup because i kind of look looked a bit tired um so that's that and thank you so much i'm gonna go and have my bread finish it off with a little slice of bread lick of butter so good i want to eat the whole thing and i'm home alone so i could who's judging me